Other opportunists use a different tactic. They spend the winter asleep in underground dens and only appear when the spring brings better weather. This is the Asiatic raccoon dog. Its legs are so short that it has great difficulty in moving through snow, which may be one reason why it hibernates. It too eats almost anything. The females in particular need to do so for they produce large litters and supplying all her babies with milk makes great demands on a mother. She's produced 15 pups. They all need to put on considerable weight if they're to survive the winter and they will only be helped by their parents for eight short weeks. Their first food, of course, is their mother's milk. But very soon, they need solid food as well. And that, too, has to be provided by mother. While she goes off to forage, the male stays behind to look after the pups. Surprisingly, given the size of his family, he does virtually nothing to help feed them. The female is coming back. She's caught a small rodent. Unlike many canids, raccoon dogs do not regurgitate food for their babies. And since mouths hold less than stomachs, this clearly limits the amount of food that she can bring back on any one journey. As a consequence, she has to provide her cubs with milk for twice as long as any other dog does. She'll make a number of journeys every day, but most of the things she brings back are only enough for a single pup. This time, she's brought an egg. The pups haven't yet learned how to deal with such a strange object. Is it worth eating? And if so, how? Yes, it is. And the pups won't forget. Before long, they must start foraging for themselves, with their parents alongside to give them some kind of guidance on what is edible and what is not. They don't always get it right. They have to learn fast, for each will have to get as fat as its mother if it's to survive the long sleep through the winter. And not all of the litter will do so.